G'day, Joe here from Bow Wolf Builders. Good morning, good evening, and good night, whatever time of day you're joining us. Welcome, uh, Andreas. This is for Andreas. G'day, Andre. Um, he's asked me about installing a wall cavity door system. Uh, you can do two different types of sliding systems for your walls or door systems. Um, one is an internal wall cavity, the other one is a face fixed sliding door system. Come this way, we've got an internal wall cavity system and uh, I'll show you how we've put it together and what we've done. Over here, we've got our cavity system. We'll flip onto the other side and just have a look. You can see here, this is the skeleton of our wall. We've just cut in where we needed to. Um, plumbed up this stud, very important that we plumb up this stud first, then we can back our system up to this, and then we know this is plumbed as well. We can also check that. Then we come over here, we make sure that the steel frame section, or the front of the jam, is nice and plumb all the way up and down. It's very important that we plumb it that way, and we also plumb it this way as well. The reason being, we want a nice even gap down both sides of this door when we put this door system in. Uh, being a cavity slider, it'll fall plumb or level uh, as the door is. We will then fix it off with these clips down the bottom. Uh, that way it can't move anywhere, it's fixed in. The more time we take now to get that right, the less time we have to take in getting it um, spot on later on. So here we're gonna move to this roller. You've got a U-shaped roller here. If we come over here, you can see that we've got our two wheels, one on each side, uh, sorry, four wheels, two on each side. And what that does is it makes sure that the pressure is coming downward. If we use a solid door here, a semi-solid or a hollow door, it doesn't matter. This is really well held into place. You can get these systems with just one sleeve uh, and then the hook comes up around and on top of this section. There seems to be, if you do a single wheel system, uh, a lot more play in the door and it becomes a little bit less stable. This system here is one of the best we've tried and um, tested over many years. When we know that we've got this nice and level and this nice and level, or plumb, sorry, then we come over here and then we fit this off. We make sure this is nice and plumb all the way down. And then we also get our level and we run our level down and make sure there's a minimal gap all the way along and it's nice and consistent from floor to ceiling. That way, when our door actually closes against this, it closes nice and flat the whole way through and we don't have to adjust it either which way. This is also fixed um, with screws. The reason that we fix it with screws is because then that way we can adjust it in and out if we need to, uh, taking into consideration the um, if you're going against an existing wall, you may need to bring this out to be nice and plumb. Uh, and we can pack it out if we use a screw system. If we use a nail, then it's fixed into place. Andreas, I hope that's answered all of your questions. If you've got any questions or queries, anyone out there, please shoot us an email. Happy to answer them uh, as we go through them. Stay awesome.